Welcome back to a historic um, television moment, a family moment. My next two guests are descended from two of the world's most powerful political dynasties, or dynasties, again, pronunciation there too, you can do, you can announce it either way, we think. Writer Nayantara Segal uh, is from the Nehru and Gandhi family, which has governed India, of course, for 40 of the 60 years since independence. She is the niece of India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, and is also the cousin to India's first female Prime Minister, Indira Gandhi. In Pakistan, Fatima Bhutto is Benazir Bhutto's niece. She's also the granddaughter of the former president, Zulfika Ali Bhutto. Both women have uh, written about their remarkable and often turbulent lives, and so we're delighted. They met for the first time just yesterday, and this is the first time together on television. Welcome, welcome to both of you. What would you say to the people watching? Is being part of a dynasty or a dynasty, mm -hmm. is it a good thing or a difficult thing or what? Well, personally, I've just ignored it. Mm -hmm. I, I became a writer and uh, the legacy of Nehru has been very important to me, but I have uh, really portrayed it through my fiction and non-fiction and not worried about political power or dynasty or anything of that kind. Were you ever tempted by the thought of politics? Uh, no. I, I had lived with politics since I was born uh, in a very turbulent family life where my parents were going in and out of jail. And uh, I really longed for what people call an ordinary life, where things were predictable and every day would be like the last, uh, which I'd never known. So uh, I didn't go into politics as a participant, but I used it as my material for my fiction. And all my novels have political backgrounds. Well, now, Adam, hearing that, does that sound familiar to you? Or was your experience different, in uh, fact? Uh, very similar, really. I, I don't think anyone born into um, these sorts of families is aware just of the tremendous shadow hanging over them um, in terms of dynasty. One doesn't wake up in the morning and think, it's a good day to be a dynast. Um, but certainly I've, uh, I've always felt that it is, for my country at least, a very dangerous thing. Though I was able, thanks to my family and my parents, to ignore it um, and had the freedom to do what it is that I wanted, which was always to write. For Pakistan, dynasty has been Devastating. Another thing that dynasty is linked with, of course, a great deal uh, with political movements and so on, is going to prison, which almost yes. became a badge of honor, didn't it? It yeah. certainly was in India, yes. It was regarded as a pilgrimage almost mm. towards freedom. And my parents, between them, spent uh, about eight years in jail. And my uncle, Nehru, of course, uh, spent about 10 years in jail. So, uh, you know, it was a uh, harsh political existence. It w wasn't easy during the national movement, and jail was a major part of it. And the jail was a major part of a lot of the lives of your nearest and dearest, too. Yes, in the same way that Nayantara's um, said, you grow up sort of thinking, well, when, when will I go to jail? It's a rite of passage in a way. But also, I suppose, not only did my father and grandfather and aunt and my grandmother all go to jail but our home was used as a jail as a subject you know it's the place of a lot of joy but also a place that served f uh, for house arrest for many members of the family so it's present all around you yeah and I mean uh, Benazir suffered with the with the ear and so on when she was in prison yes. she had to go to England for medical medical treatment and, and yeah. so on yes and my grandfather uh, Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto, when he was in jail for two years, um, was tortured. He was treated um, incredibly cruelly and was killed before his family even knew that he had been killed. It was only when he was buried that the news was brought to his family, who were half in jail and half in exile. In my case, my father died of his last imprisonment. Did he? Yes, yes. he did, didn't he? he yes. Well, he died in prison? He was released too late. He'd fallen severely ill and not given any medical treatment. And uh, 
by the time it, that he was released, it was too late. And do you do you think that um, there there could be a relationship like between the two of you after 24 hours uh, yeah. with your two countries? Can do you think, or do you think there will be huge barriers forever? There's a lunatic fringe on both <laughs> sides, yes. which would not like us to get closer, you know, and which puts various obstacles in the way. But the people mm -hmm. on both sides want to get together. Yeah. And that's been so manifest in the delegations that come and go, the writers, artists, actors and actresses who are really um, greeted with so much uh, enthusiasm on both sides and um, the people on both sides want more and more contacts of all kinds. That, that, that it would be great if that was possible, wasn't it? But it, it is possible, I think. You think it's possible, don't I you? I think so, absolutely. I think as a Pakistani, when you travel to India, you're received incredibly warmly. People are curious. They want to know about Pakistan. And, and the same for us with Indians. Um, we're hungry for information because our governments make it so difficult for us to engage. Um, but really, we speak the same language, uh, you know, the same music, the same food. Um, we also all speak English. We also all speak so English. <laughs> yes. The great unifier. The great unifier. Really. Yeah, the, really. Yes, and the, and now, and now, the future hopefully lies with what you were both just saying of, of the two countries getting us as close as you found it possible to do this week, really. Yeah. Fact, mm -hmm. And, and to, to move it on from there. So does that mean that there will always be a, 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 a legacy of the Bhutto dynasty and a legacy of the Nero dynasty forever in your two countries? Um, I don't think so. Um, in my case, these dynasties, uh, or what you call the it's not a Nehru dynasty. Nehru was uh, never set up a successor. His daughter did not succeed him. It was in Indira Gandhi's time that the dynasty began. Yeah. And uh, uh, certainly uh, she came in because of family and her son came in because of family and his wife is now there because of the family connection. But all of these people were popularly elected uh, by huge majorities in free and fair elections, so that they are there uh, by rights, by democratic rights. Pakistan politics is even more turbulent than yeah. Indian, isn't it? But the, uh, yeah. but, but do you see all your, the environs of your family that, that they will be in politics, or do you think you will lead them away to writing that you've both oh. done? And well, you know, I think dynasty for the Bhutto family has been um, devastating, but certainly more so for Pakistan. It has destroyed the political culture of this country, a country where you now have a government whose only qualification is that it rests on the blood of others. So I, I hope very much that we're able to choose, because Pakistan desperately needs to make a choice, whether it's dynasty or democracy, but it can't have both. Well, thank you both for being here. Let's hope the two countries do get on as well as you do after yeah. your meeting this week. <laughs> Thank you both. Inshallah. Inshallah. It's just Inshallah. Great to say that. Inshallah. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Thank you both very much. Thank indeed. you. Thank you.